Well, we're halfway through 2018, and I thought now is a good time to look back at the games released in the last 6 months and pick my top 10. We've had around 50 games released for the Vita so far, and while I realise that's not much compared to the PS4 and the Switch, we've still had some excellent games released. I haven't played every game, although I've probably played most of them, but games like Marvel Love and Chaos Child won't be here because I haven't played them enough. I didn't include Persona 5 Dancing Star Knight 2. Even though I love the game, I wanted to focus on Western releases. Anyway, let's get to my top 10 for the first half of 2018. Number 10. Cosmic Star Heroine. I really enjoyed Cosmic Star Heroine. It's a sci-fi RPG with a lot of style. The depth and strategy of the battle system kept the gameplay interesting, and it doesn't overstay its welcome or bog you down with filler content. The graphics and music were awesome. As a fan of old school RPGs, I liked how this game took elements of the genre and evolved them. Number 9. Rogue Aces Rogue Aces surpassed my expectations when I played it. It's a shooter that feels fresh while retaining the addictiveness and fun of other excellent shooters. It also plays perfectly on the Vita. I didn't experience any slowdown at any point, even with lots going on on the screen. I also really like the mission structure to the game, and how the difficulty gradually increases over time. If you like Luftrousers, then you'll love Rogue Aces. Number 8. Reverie Reverie is a superb blend of the style of Earthbound and the gameplay of Link to the Past. Sure, it's a bit short and not that difficult, but it's so fun, charming and well designed. It's nice to play a game like Reverie that doesn't take dozens of hours to beat and is just pure fun. The pixel graphics and soundtrack suited the game perfectly and had me humming the main tune for hours after playing. Number 7. Riddled Corpses EX Riddled Corpses EX is a rock-hard twin-stick shooter where you face off with waves of zombies trying to take over the earth. The game is super addictive but also super grindy. It took me quite a lot of time to complete the game's 6 levels, but I didn't find myself getting frustrated and bored. It's a really fun game and extremely addictive. If you like twin-stick shooters and don't mind the game with grinding, then I think you'll really enjoy Riddled Corpses EX. Number 6. Valhalla Valhalla is a visual novel and bartending simulation set in the future. It's a very relaxing experience where you get to know fascinating characters and live in a very interesting world. It's great to play on Vita and perfect for playing in short bursts. There's no stress, no worry about high scores or killing enemies, it's just you being part of this world. Number 5. Rainbow Skies So, I can't talk much about this one, because the embargo isn't up for a few days as at the time of this video, but all I'll say is that if you enjoyed Rainbow Moon, then you won't be disappointed. Check out my review when it's up. Number 4. Iconoclast Iconoclast is a 2D action platformer with a big emphasis on story. The well-delivered story was perfectly supported by amazing gameplay, level design, graphics and music. It has a lot of really interesting bosses that were well designed and were like mini puzzles to figure out how to beat them. If you like 2D metroidvanias or story driven games, then I definitely recommend picking up Iconoclast. Number 3. Neurovoider The dev's description of Neurovoider is Neurovoider is a twin stick shooter RPG set in a cyber futuristic world about brains shooting evil robots with nuclear rocket launchers. And that is a perfect description. There's a lot of customization and variety of weapons. The gameplay is easy to pick up and play and really enjoyable. I had such a good time playing Neurovoider and I can see this as a game I'll return to often. Number 2. The Longest 5 Minutes The Longest 5 Minutes was an excellent game. It's an old school style RPG, but it boils the 40 hour RPG down to a much shorter experience that focuses on story and characters and doesn't waste the player's time with unnecessary filler or grinding. The story was so charming and I became really attached to the characters. This is a game especially targeted to fans of old school RPGs, who will enjoy the references to games they know and love, while also seeing the common tropes of the genre turned on its head. Number 1. Deadbolt In Deadbolt, you play as the Reaper. It's your job to hunt monsters like zombies, vampires and skeletons and return them to hell. The gameplay involves entering a building full of the undead and using weapons you find along the way to kill them all and complete your objective. Each level is like a puzzle and trying to figure out the best approach and which enemy to kill first and how can take a lot of trial and error. I didn't mind replaying levels and the trial and error was fine with me because finishing a level perfectly makes you feel like such a badass. The game just has so much style. It's challenging but also very satisfying. 
The graphics, music and gameplay and story all work so well together to make this my favourite game of the year so far. So guys, what's been your favourite game of 2018 so far? Leave a comment below and as always, thanks for watching.